Yeah. Scrapyard Wars. <laughs> Scrapyard Wars 2, The Scrappening. We are headed to Andrew Sherritt again. Um, the plan this time is to get um, some fittings, probably, so we can adapt her from that heater cord that I got to the copper tubing, so we can adapt her from the flexible tubing to the copper tubing, and I might pick up one of those copper caps again, uh, just so we don't waste a trip if I decide to water cool the office guard. All right, so Andrew Sherritt went well. I'm basically out of budget for water cooling stuff, um, but I still need that plate. So let's go see if we can figure that out. I just did some counting of a lot of change because that's all I have left for water cooling budget. I have $6.20 left. I have one more thing to buy and it's a copper plate. I'm hoping they'll just give it to me because I bought half a pound and they only gave me 0 0.125, which is fine because that's all I needed. But, so if I get a different dude this time that's like, no, you have to buy the minimum quantity, then it'll be twice that price. And then I super definitely can't afford it. It's technically a two priority, but I think I need to mod the case. Because if I don't do that, it's going to be very difficult for me to know how much space I have for my copper coil. You just unscrew that, you don't need to grind it off. Ah, uh, it's riveted. Yeah. Awesome. Made that it a little, little bit bigger. Totally work, yeah, great. I'm not that worried about it. No? Okay. <laughs> you don't want all my change? No. <laughs> okay, awesome. I mean, technically I had to overcharge you on the other thing yesterday. I was, that's actually why I brought this back in, but I was, it was, would have been totally fair if you didn't on it anyway. Yeah. I was gonna say, you also were supposed to charge me a full pound. So I don't know. Awesome, thank you very much. No problem. I'm gonna get to work. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Damn, freaking battery's dying. Someone unplugged the drill battery charger thing. The battery, the spare battery wasn't fully charged. I'm in pretty bad shape. There's things that I can do, but I wanna get this done right now. Oh, that's bloody impossible. Um. It is supposed to, it might work for the tubing, but I'm supposed to be able to tighten it up and then pull it around and cut it. But this thing's so big compared to it that I can't rotate it while it's inside. So I have no idea how I'm supposed to do it. And because it's on a curve already, if I try to rotate it while it's inside, it's like it doesn't sit properly and then like I can't rotate it past this angle. So I don't know, I could be doing something wrong, but I'm probably gonna have to cut it with a Dremel in the end anyways, and then I bought that tool for nothing. Um, luckily tools don't come out of the main budget, but I still feel really dumb buying that tool if it's not gonna work at all. It'll, it'll work for the, the copper tubing, but that's just brutal. And go that way please, honey. You're not going to be able to take your trike through the garage. Off you go. I have to wait for mom first. No, mommy will be at the front. Go, go. Let's hope he doesn't text and drive anytime soon. Dremel tool my ass. That. That is a rotary cutter. Okay, well this has clearly got absolutely no strength left after I did that, so um, I don't even know how much point there is leaving it on there. Where's my axe? It's over here. Thank you. Uh, oh. 
Okay. <clears throat> no problem. Okay, here we go. Man, I love this thing. Okay. I'm sorry, did you say steel case construction? I'm sorry, did I say anything that sounded like I give a sh Probably got enough room for our copper coils, but I'm not sure if we can still put a computer in here. Any other case modification we do will be relatively minor. I might drill a hole here or there. Uh, but now we've done the vast majority of the cutting that I foresee us needing to do. I ended up leaving this in. I think that should be okay. So the plan then is reservoir here, coil all up the front of the case, then Maybe if we can end here, then coil here, and coil all in front of the power supply, oh. and then end here, and coil here something down GPU. I really hope we can figure this out. Red, green would almost be proud. Yeah, that's why almost. <laughs> Hmm. Was that the idea? Uh, yeah, I wanted this in the middle. No. No. <gasps> Did you break it? Oh, yeah. Darn. Shoot, that's terrible. <sighs> Two places. Okay, this is a big problem because now we need to find something pretty much exactly this size because the pump has to fit in whatever reservoir we're using. So I had already validated those two components to work together. I really didn't think it was going to be that fragile. There was only one left. One what? One of these where I bought it. Oh no. Yeah, let's find out just how broken it is. Possible the cracks don't go all the way through. This one's pretty deep, though. Okay. Huh. Is it good? It's too early to say. But, it's possible that we got away with one here. That came from the top, That's, there's, there's water here. What we're looking at is right here. And even as I put stress on it, nothing comes out. And then this one, which I thought was actually much less likely to leak, we might have gotten away with one here. So while we were having lunch, my neighbor arrived at home! So we are heading over there with our raw materials and our components that we need to cool. And hopefully we will have some kind of a plan within the next, I don't know, hour or so for how we can turn this into something that fits on that. Exciting times now.
Internet, this is John. John, this is the internet. The internet is yeah. already. You guys, you guys are gonna be blown away by this garage. It makes our workshop look less awesome. John makes, okay, solar power digital scoreboards. That's right. Basically. Yeah, that's awesome. Runs off the sun, radio controlled, no wires, slice and dice. Come on, guys. <laughs> and my, my buddies. So pretty much the kind of gear he has in here is mind boggling. So he like makes all kinds of little gadgetry like this, these coils in here, all pretty much by hand, except the tools that he has that he builds himself by hand. This is why we're here. This is a CNC machine. Oh, wow. Well, here's what we need to design today. These are our raw materials. Okay. And this little doodad. So first we've got our graphics so card. You can turn it, we'll, okay, that's your graphics we'll go, card. We'll pull that yeah. baby off. So this is pretty simple. All these yeah. nine, 11. Okay. Need to be covered by this, and we kind of kind of score it or something yeah, to get a kind of a heat sinky sort of effect to it. And then we got to carve out a spot for that, yeah. and I'm just going to stick it on there. No problem. So that's pretty easy. That's your little okay. heat sink then. This is where things start to get more difficult. So these two pieces combined will be our CPU water block, and oh, okay. they need to go right on top of the CPU here. And then we need some kind of a, um, we need a way to seal it around that's the outside. No problem. More modern CPU block designs tend to use micro channels or micro fins directly over where the CPU die is going to sit. But because we're not using the kind of sophisticated machinery, uh, like much tighter than that. So Even on, tighter? Yeah. on much, on a much, much tighter scale and very, very short. But oh, we don't you. have the kind of machinery that would allow us to build something like that. This pretty, you can cut it pretty can accurately. It? Oh yeah, I could do a little tiny, between this point and this point here, I could probably do uh, 20, 25 uh, little channels. Okay. That's anyway, not too bad. We can work on that. One thing we want to be careful of too is we don't want the design to be too restrictive, too flow restrictive, because... No, no, it'll, it'll, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah we yeah, were limited you. in terms of our pump budget, <laughs> <laughs> thanks to the constraints of this project. I gotcha. Okay. So what we'd want to do is we would probably want to bring the whole okay. thing down a little bit mm -hmm. so that it can flow freely over top if it wants, but it can also sit around oh, in the I channels. Oh, I see. I gotcha. Then as far as this goes, we'll just tap uh, some... Uh, holes in the corners. Yep. Uh, top and die thing. And then we'll use silicone around yep. the side here and put it on here. Now, again, more advanced CPU block designs would use a rubber gasket, which is removable and replaceable, but because we don't have the uh, time or necessarily resources to source a custom rubber gasket for our block, uh, we're going to go with a more permanent solution, which isn't to say that a silicone seal is permanent, permanent. You could rip it apart and re-silicone it and seal it back up. It's just not quite as elegant a solution as, you know, um, if we were to commercially manufacture well, hold it, hold them. Hold it, back up a little bit. You, oh, you want to put it in a rubber gasket now? No, I can do better than that. This could uh, cut out our gasket for us using vinyl. Does that work? Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure, or like, yeah, yeah. for sure? Let's see if he wants to talk to us right now or if he'd prefer to wait till later. Also, I need to give him his pen back because I stole it. I believe about 15 minutes after you left, we broke a bit. <gasps> no way. I got a spare one. Put a cheaper bit in. This one isn't as much. I'll just run it slower. Sorry, this ended up being a much bigger project than a bit. it was supposed to be. But if we reduce the scope, if we kill the graphics card, then that should help a fair bit, I hope. Sorry about this. I just want to curl up into a ball and cry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that later. Oh. With some ice cream or something. Oh, shit. 
oh. I'm tired. I haven't even been doing this. Oh. I've been following you around. Oh. <laughs> so, Linus, how did it go today? So it's the end of day two. <laughs> we have abandoned our plan to build a GPU water block. We still really don't know how to get enough copper coiled into the case to dissipate the heat from our CPU even, so it's probably a good thing the GPU block isn't happening. And we still haven't even put the holes in our reservoir and finished our CPU block. We still don't actually have a way to put our fittings into the CPU block. The good news is we can free up some budget by returning some things tomorrow. I can re return GPU fittings, for example. So we need a tap for that pipe thread, which Lord only knows where we're going to find. And then, yeah, we're going to have to get at it pretty bright and early tomorrow. <laughs>